What do you think about drones? Drones are sexy. Definitely. Oh yeah. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps and we're in my car today and out of the studio because it's too nice to sit around on my ass in the studio. So I'm outside and I'm going to unbox this new drone I got from TRND Labs. It is the Sky E Nano Drone. It does flips, it takes photos and video, and it's got some other interesting features. We're going to unbox it for you and do a little outdoor flying with this today. Um, try to keep it in a little bit close so you can see what's going on, but uh, I thought this would be a lot funner than hanging out in the studio, so let's go for a ride. First, before we go fly, I stopped off at my favorite little taco joint over on Alberta. It's Stella Tacos. Okay guys, here we go. Finally, the moment you've been waiting for. We're gonna unbox the Sky E Nano Drone by TRND Labs. Go ahead and show you the drone itself, super small. Controllers underneath. Takes two AAA batteries. You can start and stop the video on here. And you can control the throttle from the left hand side. I already have some batteries in here, so we're ready to go there. This is the USB charger for your battery. It plugs right into the side of the drone itself. And you have the micro SD card reader. And four props all together. So, Everything you need to fly, all in this box. Let's go fly it. Okay guys, here it is. Let's go ahead and fly this thing. Let's get it up in the air. I have it turned on, so I'm gonna try to take some photos and some video. I don't know how good the video is yet, but we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and fly it now. Oh shit. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do a little hand toss real quick. This is the Nano Drone by TRND Labs, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a toss. Try not to fly it into the building. Very dangerous. I'm out of a no-fly zone, so, uh-oh. So once I get the hand of it, the, the hang of it, I can probably control this thing. Looks pretty easy, but any little tiny amount of wind it really doesn't want to fly in any wind at all. So you want to fly this one indoors. But so far, it's really controllable on this side of the building. A lot easier. So I'm going to try to uh, fly nose in and take a little selfie. Probably should shoot the other way. Oh, oh shit. Nice recovery. Shooting into the sun a little bit, that's okay. Nice, I'll shoot, I'll shoot side too if I can control this thing enough to, to get a selfie with it. Whoa! Okay, back. It's like a bumblebee. This thing is fast, super fast. So I don't know whether I'm going to start and stop the video. That might have been a photo. This thing is super fast. So I'm going to concentrate on flying real quick. I'm going to test out the yaw. It looks like the yaw is pretty slow. Nothing compared to how fast it flies forward and backwards. So it's, it's definitely super nimble. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it now. That was pretty... The, the, the throttle is really, really touchy, so you're gonna go like, if you just bump it a little bit, you're gonna go way up, super fast. And the wind helps it too, the wind carries it away a little bit. But now I'm getting a little more used to it, so... A lot easier to fly now, but when it gets in a little bit of a, kind of a, what I call a hurricane, it doesn't want to stop, it just wants to keep flying around. But it ran right into the side of the building and no problem. Kind of bounced off. It doesn't have prop guards, so... Somebody's going to come up and ask me, is that a drone? I think our battery's dying. So that's it guys, I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps. Thanks for hanging out. That was the Mini. The Micro Nano from TRND Labs. Thanks for watching.